top 10 war movies on Netflix. The Call of Duty meets the call to adventure in these gripping war movies, from patriotic films and public service announcements to retellings of historical events, the subject of war in cinema has evolved into a genre of its own. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we tell you about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of the video, because today's video is going to list down the top 10 war movies to watch on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10, War Machine. There is nothing humorous about war, but sometimes the best way to understand the most complex and brutal things is to add some humor to them. War Machine is such a movie. The satirical dark war comedy is set to the backdrop of the Afghanistan war and is based on the nonfiction book, The Operators, the wild and terrifying inside story of America's war in Afghanistan by Michael Hastings. The plot follows madcap four-star U.S. General Glenn McMahon, played by Brad Pitt, who is sent to Afghanistan with a mission to end the war. The catch is he can't request more troops, but McCann goes ahead and decides to recruit 40,000 additional troops. His decision leads to a series of unpredictable consequences, including press coverage and an expose that discredits him and jeopardizes his mission. The movie is a dramatized and fictionalized account of the events of Hastings' book, with McMahon's character derived from U.S. Army General Stanley McChrystal. With its quirky, tongue-in-cheek narrative, this movie is sure to make you look at the whole concept of war in a different way. And of course, there's a subtle lesson at the end. Number 9. Father, Soldier, Son An American war documentary movie, Father, Soldier, Son, is about the effects of war on a soldier and his family. The film follows Brian Each and his family, who is featured in the documentary. Each was a sergeant first class in the United States Army and deployed in Afghanistan for six months. A single father of two young boys, Each is close to his sons, and when he is away at war, his children go through an emotional time. But soon, Each is reunited with his family and tries to pick up from where he left off. The film explores his fear of how war experiences changed him and how that affects his children. Wounded and emotionally lost, Each navigates his changing psychology, post-war trauma, and his role as a father. A beautiful story of a soldier's journey of love, loss, and redemption. Father, Soldier, Son is an insight into what soldiers go through after a war and is sure to tug at your heartstrings. Number 8. The Silent War The Silent War, titled Sordo in Spanish, is a war movie about a deaf revolutionary soldier. Set in 1944 during the Spanish Revolution, the story is adapted from the eponymous graphic novel Sordo by David Munoz and Rico Polito. Though most of the story is fiction, some events of the Spanish Civil War relate to real-life events. The events in the movie take place around the end of World War II. The relentless fight of the resistance and the Allied forces has finally pushed Nazi corruption out of France. While everyone is celebrating the victory, a Spanish guerrilla group decides to overthrow dictator General Franco and reclaim their homeland. The sabotage mission fails, leaving all but two of them dead. One of them gets arrested, while the other loses his hearing and goes on the run for his life from the military. The Silent War is an intriguing war drama, with an intimate look into one character's journey and how his life takes a bad turn, leaving him with nothing but his fate. Number 7. The Outpost Based on the 2012 nonfiction book The Outpost, an untold story of American valor by Jake Taper, the movie depicts the battle at Kemdesh in the war in Afghanistan through a fictionalized plot. The Outpost follows the events of October 2009, when 300 Taliban soldiers attacked a U.S. Army outpost in the Nuristan province of Afghanistan. The region at the time was one of the most dangerous ones for the Americans. This is a story of valor, courage, and iron determination of not giving up and celebrates the spirit of American soldiers. The narrative is of a classic war movie with intense, nail-biting moments, and it's sure to spark all of those patriotic emotions. Number 6. Beasts of No Nation Award-winning filmmaker Kari Joji Fukunaja of No Time to Die and True Detective Fame directed and wrote this war drama movie adapted from the eponymous novel by Uzidima Iwelia. Beasts of No Nation is a war movie in all senses of the phrase, featuring endless battles. It follows a young boy named Agu in a small region in West Africa in the middle of a horrifying civil war. As the war tears his country apart, Agu is forced to join a team of rebels and is trained as a child soldier to fight in the war. The rebel leader takes Agu and his fellow soldiers down a violent and bloody path. Like most of Fukunaga's works, this story will leave you with a nightmarish feeling, empathizing with the trauma that the young child soldiers experience in such a war-torn region. Number 5. The Siege of Jadotville 
based on the 2005 book, The Siege of Jadotville, The Irish Army's Forgotten Battle by Declan Power. This action drama war film exposes the Irish Army's role in a UN peacekeeping mission in the Congo. The story is set in 1961, when a small unit of Irish Army is stationed in a mining town at Jadotville in the Congo to hold off the civil war following the death of the Congolese Prime Minister. The unit, led by Connor Cruz O'Brien, Mark Strong, fights the local mercenaries and Congolese forces for five days before Jadotville is sieged. What happens after that is exactly why you need to watch this movie. Number 4. The Five Bloods There are the usual stories of Vietnam War vets, and then there's The Five Bloods, an acclaimed and still unrated movie. To say the least, The Five Bloods is a powerful story that would be hard to forget if you watched it once. Co-written and directed by Spike Lee, the movie follows a group of black Vietnam veterans who reunite in Vietnam after years to search for the remains of their squad leader and a buried treasure they had left behind when they were serving in the war. While the journey of these old war vets reconnecting with their past is very emotional, the performances are the real delight. Also, Chadwick Boseman's work is something to look out for. Number 3. 1898 – Our Last Men in the Philippines this Spanish war drama film is based on true events depicting the siege of Balar. Between 1898 and 1899, during the Philippine Revolution, 54 Spanish soldiers were stationed in the Philippines to fight the local rebels. In October 1897, the local Tagalog, the second largest ethnic group of the Philippines rebels, along with the Cantapunan Revolutionary Society, attacked the Spanish garrison in Balar Aurora. Of the 50-odd soldiers, most get killed. A few months later, a second battalion was sent from Manila to support and retake the village. But what they don't know is that there are far bigger threats in Balar than the local rebellion groups. The movie rides well on a gripping narrative, good performances from all the cast members, and a different angle to a war story. Number 2. The King Though based on and made as an epic, The King is technically a movie about a historical war. The story is based on William Shakespeare's Henry, adapted from three different plays from Henry IV and Henry V. The plot focuses on Henry V, the eldest son of King Henry IV of England. The prince is an emotional distant and disenchanted individual who experiences a turnaround of life and character after his father's death. Henry must navigate his emotions, rural politics, and the adversaries that his father left behind and become the rightful king that his kingdom expects him to be. Number 1. Pascal this Malaysian military action movie is inspired by the principal special operations force of the Royal Malaysian Navy, or PASCAL. The plot is based on a real-life event that the team encountered during a United Nations peacekeeping mission in Angola. In 1998, Laurel 11, a Malaysian supertanker, was hijacked by Somalian pirates on the Gulf of Aden. The Royal Malaysian Navy picks up the distress signal and sends out the elite PASCAL unit to rescue the seized tanker. A game of strategic warfare involving swift and stealthy tactics ensues. The movie has been well received among fans for its strong narrative, close to reality military events, and impressive action sequences. That makes it worthy enough to add to your watch list. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.